Here's a short clip from the barber shop. Excited to have my special guest Landon Harvey with me in the studio. Good morning, Landon. Hi, Jim. Thanks for having me. Happy to be here. Why don't you scoot on up to that microphone here and uh, let's make sure that everybody can hear you because we're going to be throwing our voices around the studio (laughs) and across the web today. Landon is a young ventriloquist uh, from Texas, and he is here to perform out at Silver Dollar City at the Tom and Huck stage starting tomorrow. And uh, tell us a little bit about what people will, will find if they come to your show. Yeah, so I'll be at Silver Dollar City from June 12th to July 4th. Uh, show times 1.30, 2.45, uh, 4, and 5.15. This is called my one-man variety show. So I am the host, and all of our acts in the show are puppets. So and are you the man, or are you one of the puppets? <laughs> I'm, I'm the man, and okay. uh, and uh, you got comedy, uh, music, audience involvement, and it's a great time, 30-minute show, and we, we're doing four of them a day. So it'll be a lot of fun. That's great. Well, Landon and I share the love of ventriloquism because I'm a ventriloquist too by career. And Landon also makes great puppets, very unique uh, creations. I even have one of his creations. He'll be showing up shortly here in the interview. But tell us, first of all, where you're from, where you grew up. Yeah, I grew up in Plano, Texas. What's Plano, Texas like? Is there a lot of show business going on there? No, it's it's plain. I think they put the the plane in Plano. But uh which is why I'm out here in Branson, but I uh, perform all over the DFW area, doing everything from birthday parties to corporate gigs to uh, retirement community shows. Now, I first met you at the International Ventriloquist Convention at Fort Mitchell, Kentucky, that we have every year. How old were you when you actually started doing ventriloquism? I was six years old when I started doing ventriloquism. Six years old, my yes. gosh, yeah. Did people just think you were a shy kid? or? Uh, yeah, I was, an, I was an introvert as a kid, and I, I wasn't really into sports or anything else like that, and uh, my dad... It goes on trips for his work, and he brought me back a pirate puppet, and I named it Chips Ahoy after the cookie snack and thought that was clever. And then I would do little uh, show-and-tell shows for my class, and it allowed me to become a performer and see what that what that medium was like. Yeah, your dad, Steve Steve Harvey, great guy. And does he get confused with the comedian Steve Harvey? A uh, lot, and he's taken a <laughs> lot of photos because of it because people think it's hilarious. So <laughs> shout-out to that. And I'd also like to say it's my mom's birthday today, so shout-out to her, awesome. Catherine Harvey. Happy, happy birthday. Catherine? <laughs> yes. Oh, happy birthday, Catherine. And uh, that's great. You know, there comes to be, you know, with me, there's a certain age where you stop celebrating birthdays anymore. <laughs> but <laughs> but I guess it's it's good just to be around here. I've been doing uh, ventrola because I started when I was 10, so I was yeah. young too, but but six, man, that's that's great. And have you ever done anything else other than ventriloquism? You know, I was in theater for a while in middle school and throughout high school. And, uh, and then that kind of segued into uh, ventriloquism more and an emphasis on performing and taking those aspects I learned in theatrical performance to my stage shows as a ventriloquist. And you're an artist as well. I've seen yes. a lot of your, your drawings. Tell me about that. Yeah, so I, I love to sculpt and draw and sketch, and all of, all of those mediums uh, of art have come together in my puppet building because they've, they've given me perspectives on how to pattern foam and how to sew I taught myself how to sew on the machine and how to hand sew, and that's all come together so I can work with uh, uh, performers all over the world in building custom puppets for them. Uh, my website is TheOriginalDummy. <laughs> TheOriginalDummy.com, yes. is that mm-hmm. it? That's correct. Okay, folks, write that down. The original dummy. It's He's not talking about me. It's his <laughs> website, TheOriginalDummy.com. So folks uh, don't have to go to Silver Dollar City to see you, but of course we want them, if they're in the area, to go out and see you at the Tom and Huck stage. But you're all over the internet, man. You you yes. have, uh, tell me about where people can find you online. Yeah, so over the past year, I've been uh, everywhere online. No matter what social media uh, you have, I'm, I'm on there, at Landon Venting, V-E-N-T-I-N-G. It's a you know play on the fact that I'm venting, and I'm also a ventriloquist, so there you go. Oh, I didn't get that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, I do get it now. <laughs> so where will they find that land inventing? We're on uh, TikTok. We've got a great following there. Uh, do daily videos on, on that with the puppets. We've got longer content on our YouTube channel and clips from my shows. And uh, we've also got a Facebook page and a website, LandonHarvey.com. That's great. I'm just looking at a little uh, search on Bing right here. And it says 4.9, almost 5,000 subscribers on one of these channels. Do you know which one that is? Yes, that's my that's my YouTube channel, Land Inventing. Okay. Mm-hmm. How many subscribers do you think you have out there total? You know, that's a, that's a good question because most of them originated from TikTok, uh, which I've been on for a little over a year. And uh, 
Uh, we are nearing 800,000 followers on my TikTok uh, page. 800,000? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I think I've got tens of people watching my <laughs> – <laughs> That's, that's, that's amazing. Well, that's how, you know, that's how a lot of ventriloquists, especially like Jeff Dunham, you know, became a viral, uh, YouTube sensation, uh, with Ahmed, the dead terrorist. And, Mm -hmm. and now look at Jeff. He's like one of the biggest stars in the world. You've met Jeff, of course. And, Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about some of your relationships with some of the other professional ventriloquists. Oh my gosh. Well, you know, I've been very fortunate to be part of the ventriloquist community, which is such a tight-knit group of people. And every ventriloquist there, you know, all of the pros are willing to help you on everything. I'm, I'm good friends with Dan Horn. I've built a, a puppet for him. Um, but he's also taught me a lot on manipulation. Um, Sammy King is a big mentor of mine. And, uh, you know, I've, I've done this uh, podcast called Land and Live over the past year. And that's, I've had a lot of ventriloquists on there and have been able to kindle relationships from that and, and talk to ventriloquists and hear how they got into it. And then also get their advice on how I should pursue my career, because it's very different for everyone and how they start and, and what, what they do to, to build up their success. That's right. You know, that's, these are all great friends of mine as well. And uh, the ventriloquism it really is a tight knit family, and uh, we when we do get together, it it's it's kind of like a family reunion. You know, I've been to other conventions with magicians and different things like that, but there's something different about a ventriloquist convention. Uh, first of all, we all talk to ourselves, but <laughs> but yet, uh, you know, that's for the most part, uh, that's that's not for real. Right. Although I have met a few. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's uh, it's a fun way to make a living. And it's, uh, you know, Darcy Lynn was on America's Got Talent a couple of years ago and made a huge sensation. And she has opened the door for a lot of young people to come in. And you're making great inroads on the web with social media mm-hmm. and uh, getting lots of folks interested in uh, becoming a ventriloquist. And it's kind of like an old, old art form that's uh, really making a resurgence today. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Now, your puppets are really unique. You you mentioned that you craft them out of foam, mm-hmm. and uh, that's styrofoam, and uh, <laughs> covered with cloth. And I see, oh, one of my, one of my friends is coming in here. Cozy, come over here. Hang on a sec. He's right here. For those folks, uh, you're listening in. Uh, see if you can hear my lips moving. Hey, hi, hello. Well, hi there. Uh, this this is Cozy. Uh, my name's Cozy. Yeah, I just said that. I, I can't hear you very well. Well, good day. Do you know this guy sitting across from me? Uh, hey, I think I know him. Yeah, that's Landon. Yeah, he he put me together. He He did, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Grandpa. No, no, it's Daddy. No, no, you can call him Landon. Oh, Landon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And are you are you elderly? Uh, no, but I'm really old. Okay. Well, <laughs> ha, and you're uh, you're re- living here in Branson now? Oh, yeah. I'm a musician. Oh, you are? Yeah, yeah. Play well, just about everything. Yeah. And what show are you in a show now? Well, I, I was in the original show, The Harry Nothers. Long before there are the bald nothers. Oh, that that's a long time ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. So your name is Cozy? Cozy Blanket. Cozy Blanket. Yep, yep. You might know my brother Fuzzy. Oh, Fuzzy Blanket, yeah. Or my sister Pigzina. Pigzina Blanket, yeah, yeah. She's sweet on the outside, but spicy on the inside. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just a hairball. All right. Well, anyway, this is Cozy. I love Cozy. He's a really great looking character. He's got uh, gray hair. He's got a little ponytail and uh, he's dressed uh, just like a musician in Branson would be dressed. But um, you brought a a puppet or two with you today as well, didn't you? Yeah. So, you know, it's. What do you mean, puppet? (laughs) Never mind. Okay. All right. I actually met this guy at Silver Dollar City and he has to be a part of my show. His his name, I have the introduction here. Please let me welcome self-proclaimed ladies' man and local Shady Folks retirement home resident, Mervyn Young. Mervyn? Oh, okay. Hello there. My name is Mervyn. Mervyn Young. Oh, hello. Is that Cozy? You know Hi. Cozy? Yeah, we go way back. Hi, oh. Mervyn. I think we have some of the same skin. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Off the same bolt. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Hey, Mervin, how are you? I'm doing good. Yeah, I like it here in Branson. Yeah, everyone here looks like me. <laughs> yeah. Where are you from, Mervin? 
But I'm throwing the suitcase right here. Yeah. He's been oh. living out of a suitcase for the past few years. So you're a musician too? Sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a great pup. You know, that's perfect for out here too on the stage because he's he's. I don't I don't mean to offend you, uh, Mervin, but you have a large head. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, and and a big mouth. <laughs> yeah. Well, I gotta you know compete with this one. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's Landon. You know, you know Landon. Yeah, I know Brandon. Landon. That's what I said. Okay. <laughs> so, are you going to be? Uh, out, are you going to be part of the show out there at uh, well, the yeah. Tom and Huck stage? Yeah, Mer- Merv, I got it. Okay, sorry. I'm actually going to be on the Tom and Huck stage, and I'll be gluing the ladies there. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to call the lady up and sing to her, and if that doesn't work, if that doesn't work, he's got a toupee and false dentures that we put on on stage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well that'll be exciting, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just don't ch- choke on it. You know, yeah. it's National Corn on the Cob Day. Did you know that? I did not know that. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, there's a national day for everything, but it, that's true. National Corn on the Cob Day. It's also uh, National German Chocolate Day. Oh, fantastic! Do you like German chocolate? Sure. And it's National King Kamehameha Day in Hawaii. Oh. So if you. <laughs> Eat corn on the cob, German chocolate cake all together. You're going to be praying to the Kamehameha porcelain god, I think. I don't (laughs) Well, that's good. Uh, It's great, great, great character. Great faith. Oh, thank Um, you. Yeah. And uh, and did you bring any other characters with you today in the studio? Yeah, yeah. I've got this guy. Uh, He's on a lot of my TikTok content. What the heck is TikTok? It's a a social media platform. What? What social media? Never mind. Just... uh, watch oh hey oh, he looks like more than this is jackie hi i'm jackie he's a jackalope i'm from wyoming you're a jackalope i am i grew up in south dakota once in a while we had jackalopes there as well but wyoming's full of jackalopes oh yeah i'm the only jackalope with a body yeah yeah you usually see a mountain right yeah on the <laughs> wall or something sure yeah i've yeah. never seen a jackalope body that's true you yeah. just reminded me of that that's fantastic. I, I make it work yeah it's great <laughs> how do you keep your body in such good shape I got Landon, yeah. Whether I need a foam tuck, he's there, yeah. A foam yeah. tuck. <laughs> Are you excited to be out at Silver Dollar City? Too? Oh, sure. A lot of areas to run around, yeah. It's the closest I've been to the actual wilderness. You're right, yes. They have their w- wilderness there. They have roller sure. coasters, too. They do, yeah. Yeah. I'm not tall enough. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe with my ears, maybe. Yeah, put yeah. your ears up. You'll, you'll just, just sneak into like- the... Yeah. Well, bunny feet, right, yeah. I'd love to see a video of you riding on one of the uh, the rides out there. We should do that. Yeah, maybe. That might just be on our YouTube. That'd be fun. That would yeah. be good, yeah. Just don't fall off. <laughs> you know, people don't, they strap you in, you're you're secure. Yeah, that'd be a great news headline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sounds like a publicity stunt for the ventriloquist. Guess so, yeah. Yeah. Do you do any uh, special talents there yourself? Um, I, what, need being a talking jackalope isn't enough? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Um, I'm in your show. Yeah. I'm entertaining. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm an actor. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, that, that's great. Yeah. Bunch of other things, right? That are on my LinkedIn. Oh, you have a LinkedIn? Sure. Okay. Well, that's great. You've got yeah. your own social media channel? I do, yeah. Yeah? Uh-huh. Wow. It's Jack E. Lope. E. Yes. Okay. Jack, like Jack Lope. Lope. Right, yeah, okay. That's what a lot of men want to do sometimes when they meet a girl. Hi, y'all. Okay. Elope. <laughs> do you have a family, Jack? You know, I, uh, I'm one of a kind, yes. But uh, I am part of Landon Show, yes, and we're like a family. We are, yeah. That's a good, Giant yeah. dysfunctional family, yeah. A <laughs> mine, a zombie, and a jackalope, yeah. Oh, Sounds like it? the beginning of a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> There's a zombie in the show? Yeah, there is. Uh, he's, uh... Yeah, build, build a zombie. We're actually working on a, a second show to do. So we'll, we'll have uh, two shows a day and then repeat those. Um, but we've got a uh, mime named Marcel Soso. He's so so the mime. Right, yeah. Ain't that right, kid? And uh, we've also got a zombie named Bill and uh, his receptionist that lives in his head, Maggie the Maggot. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That... <laughs> so talk about an original character and, and a character sidekick. So. Well, this is going to be great for Silver Dollar City. I, I know it's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to be out at the Tom and Huck stage. You start this Saturday. Mm-hmm. And when do you go through? Till July 4th. Through the 4th of yes. July. Awesome. You're going to have tons and tons of people coming by. You're doing four shows a day. Is that correct? Four shows a day. That's correct. All right. So first show today, uh, this Saturday, tomorrow, mm-hmm. is at 1.30. Yep. Right? 
And then you're going to be at 2.45, 4 o'clock, 5.15. So anytime that people are out there, you can swing by and see Landon Harvey and his crazy characters <laughs> out at the uh, Tom and Huck stage at Silver Dollar City. That's fantastic. Congratulations on on getting the booking. And I'm oh, so glad you. that you're uh, going to be in town this summer. And I hope you'll come out and see my show. I'm going to be out at Shepherd of the Hills this summer as well. So we've got two ventriloquists working in town. That's a, that's me. And Todd Oliver is going to also be performing at the Andy Williams Moon River Theater. So we've got three ventriloquists in town. It's the it's the summer of comedy, <laughs> folks, here a in year Branson. A year of ventriloquism. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's. I don't know if we've ever had that many ventriloquists working at once in Branson. So that's that's wonderful. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, any anything else you want to talk about, Landon? You're going to be going out to the ventriloquist convention this year. Yeah, I will be going out for uh, to the ventriloquist convention. I actually we're talking a bit earlier. I actually just shipped before I left for Branson uh, a giant box of puppets that I'll be selling. I'm a dealer there. I have got a few dealers tables and I'm actually doing a workshop with my good ventriloquist friend, Bob Rumba. Yeah. Uh, called uh, character creation from puppet to personality. So we talk about the creating a unique character uh, f- everywhere from the design of the puppet to giving it, breathing it life and the personality uh, to when the audience meets it for the first time on stage. That's great. Yeah. Bob Rumba's uh, amazing. I love Bob and he, you and he will make a great team on that <laughs> lecture. I'm sure. And uh, just be careful when you tell people you're a dealer, because sometimes that <laughs> takes on. And then when you say, well, it's puppets. Hey, man, want to buy a puppet? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, but that's great. Landon's characters are very original, very unique. And I'm uh, proud to have Cozy uh, as a new cast member in my show. But he's mainly here on the radio. He likes to come in from time to time and, and meet the people. Oh, yeah, I love it. Yeah, thanks, Jim. All right. <laughs> that was just me. Cozy went back to his bag, I have to admit. Thank you, Landon, for being here. We'll have you on again before uh, you're done with the show out this summer, but make sure you uh, put it on your schedule. Get out to Silver Dollar City. Look for Landon Harvey. You're going to love what he does and uh, is uh, just going to get better and better as the year goes on with more and more characters and routines and and lots of fun. So uh, Landon Harvey, my special guest here in the barbershop today. I'm Jim Barber. We'll be back with lots more. Any parting words? Follow us on social media at Landon Venting and see what we're up to. Landon Venting. Yes. Look it up, folks. Thanks for being here. This is The Barber Shop with Jim Barber on BransonForYou.com and 98.1 FM.